Good day, everybody. Welcome back to another Ross Reviews. And today, guys, we are in something really quite special because this, guys, is a HSV GTSR, but it actually has been even more so enhanced to really replicate a W1. So this thing is pretty special. And the owner, guys, he has really gone all out with you know, genuine W1 parts here. Uh, pretty much everything W1 is done to this vehicle, except the LS9. So we're still running the 6.2 liter supercharged V8, the LSA. And uh, man, this thing again, it does have an upgraded cam. It's been tuned. Oh, <laughs> we got big 22 inch GTSR style wheels here so you know this thing is looking pretty wild uh guys again full w1 interior geez this thing is insane now guys look a huge thanks to full throttle empire for hooking up this day uh you know look again the guy's a legend luke i'll leave a link for them down below go follow them we also did feature their vk thousand horsepower burnout machine and uh, we also did a GTSR BS rep. <laughs> just, this thing has got some go. Uh, you know, we've got paddle shifters here, guys. So again, this one was in the six-speed automatic. You chuck it over into manual mode. You can use the paddles. Got the EDI track apps. This thing is a hoot. And again, just the noise the look of this it really does look just beautiful sounds a million bucks and again just the Al Alcantara steering wheel all the Alcantara in the seats you know the W1 embroidered GTSR on the dash yo this thing is special guys now look originally price on a GTSR you were looking at about $112,000 before on roads, but you know, to get one for that money, you would have been pretty lucky uh, because you know, these things were definitely chasing coin. Oof. And they move, you know, the aggressive look because these GTSRs, remember, they basically sort of looked like a W1 already without the badges. Uh, so they really had that more aggressive look from factory over, say, the GTS. Now, just quickly, I wanted to touch base on a few key points that you might notice for those of you with a keen eye. There's no push button start and the gauge cluster does look different to, say, a regular GTSR. Uh, I cannot say for sure if this was a legitimate GTSR. That was what I was told. And, you know, regardless, this thing is pretty insane. Uh, it's been done to a very high standard and uh, it's still not finished. So I just wanted to say that, let's enjoy this video. Now really impressive as well, the owner, he's actually done the GTSR brakes on here, so. it just lights up this thing and uh you need you need those gtsr brakes because uh this thing you got to be able to stop it because it's a wild ride holy <laughs> yo this thing doesn't play it absolutely does not play around. Wow, that second into third, man, you will you will go through some tires in this car. Wow, what an absolute beast. Again, got to watch those bumps in this thing, but wow, I'm like a kid in a candy store in this car. You know, I know it's not a genuine W1. I was excited. I thought this actually was a legit W1 when, uh, you know, Luke at the boys at uh, Full Throttle Empire showed me the pictures. Um, but the fact is, it's still a GTSR. It's got 
the legitimate W1 rear wing, the carbon fiber. It's got the bigger brake. So these were like 25% bigger, I believe, from the standard GTSR. Uh, and again, you know, you really wanted these things with the bigger brakes. Wow, that's fantastic. You know, look, originally all the W1s would have been manual. So they would have had an LS9. This does only have, you know, the six speed auto, but I gotta say with the paddles, it still works pretty well. It really does. Uh, and this one obviously being tuned, big cam. I'm estimating, look, I don't actually have a dyno sheet, but I'm figuring this is gonna put the power to the wheels now. So originally these things came out with 430 kilowatts, 740 Newton meters out of the LSA. I believe it was about five kilowatts more than the previous GTS. So not a huge upgrade, but again, just the visuals on the GTSR was really why you wanted this thing. And these things have held their value, I'll tell you what, because again, buying one of these things brand new, they were looking at about 112,000 bucks. And considering the GTS before this was 98, you would have been kicking yourself if you didn't get this one for the extra like 10 grand. Uh, it really is what you want. If you were actually gonna get the W1, again, they were only limited to 300. It was about $170, but <laughs> it's about $170,000. Uh, but again, if you just look at prices, mate, on the used market, even a GTSR right now, you're gonna be looking between that like 150, 280 almost thousand bucks. So these things are really getting close to 300 grand for immaculate low K condition ones. And you can't get them for less than 150. Uh, if you're going for the W1, it basically two X's. So we're like 300 K to 500,000. So, you know, it's just big money nowadays. And again, guys, I have partnered up with Driver here in Australia. And if you need finance, you wanna buy your dream car, click the link in the description below because you are gonna get the best deal you're gonna get a $150 fuel card and you're gonna help me out as well. So everybody wins here, guys, and you know, far out. If you could get one of these things, man, with a good deal, click that link, guys, because yeah, this is, this is a dream car, man. Oh yeah. And just again on curb weight here, you know, you're looking at over 1800 kilos these things are not light uh but again you know they got that grunt up front they absolutely rip and you know this thing in a straight line is just so much fun absolutely is <laughs> and yep yeah. The old industrial area, boys. You know, we're here in New South Wales and, uh, you know, Mexico. New South Wales, Mexico. If you know, you know. Uh, yeah, this thing is just an absolute riot. What a beast. Now, guys, if you are enjoying this type of content, make sure you hit that big red subscribe button. Click the bell notification so you get updated on all my weekly uploads. And remember, guys, leave a comment. If you know some facts you want to share, I missed... Uh, you know, again, I'm not the complete guru here. I just like to show these things off, give them a bit of a squirt, and uh, have a bit of fun with them. So, you know, again. <laughs> Leave a comment if you know some facts. And guys, subscribe, please. You know, again, just the fact when you look at this thing driving down the road, it looks so damn sexy. And you know, they get so much attention anywhere they go in this thing because just obvious reasons, you know what I mean? Uh, it's just such a beautiful car. Well done with this conversion. And uh, the noise of it. <laughs> it is just next level. Oh, it's good. And just ease and onto her again, you know. <laughs> yes.
Yo, yeah, I'm good. <laughs> we got rubber bands on these 22s, and you know, this thing absolutely kicks out. Uh, you know, you got to have some hands if you're going to drive this thing full on. It is absolutely wild, and this thing just wants to go. Legitimately, just wants to go hard. Uh, yeah, again, guys, this is just insane. You know, just the level of quality on this replication you know it is a rep guys it's not a genuine w1 but it is a gtsr and that's special in itself you know these things still attract big money and the fact that you know the owner's been able to do this so nicely have like the full w1 interior have the brakes done uh it's just so special you know the alcantara wheel here it's beautiful this thing and uh you know I do hear rumors that he is going to swap this with an LS9. So he is really going to go full out. He wants to make this thing just like a W1. So, you know, I really am going to have to come back once he's done that and check this thing out because this is just insane. throttle is responsive guys and you know even though it's the auto here the paddles actually work pretty well uh you know there's a slight delay on um downshifts i feel like but it, it actually handles it does it pretty well this thing you know i'm not sure if the gearbox has been tuned but it feels a lot better than the holden that i have previously reviewed that had the flappy paddle shifters as well uh, as being an HSV, I would expect it to have a slightly better response time here anyways, but we are going to find out what this thing does 0 to 100, so we're just pulling up on this back road, we're going to chuck it into uh, drive, sport mode probably, and uh, we'll see what she gets. The traction is just non-existent in this thing, man. But geez, it absolutely rips. This thing absolutely rips. It is just, honestly, I've been in a lot of HSVs. I've been in a lot of powerful cars here. This thing just, oh, it, it's, it's unlike anything else really like you know it's still the lsa here but guys it, i don't know if it's just the tune on it the way this just makes you feel on how w1 this looks it's uh oh man what a rush let's have a look at the time now look guys zero to 100 was done in 5.2 seconds and that is pretty flash you know look i think these were claimed at like 4.6 and honestly if you had the proper meat on these tires the right rim size on the right road this would easily easily be in the four and a half second range like without a doubt without a doubt and uh you know the fact that on this on these rubber bands we're getting a you know 5.2 losing traction it's starting to rain as well guys uh <laughs> this is uh this is a wild beast and again so cool to see <laughs> Just hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah, Jesus hell. HSV, GTSR, Rep W1. Yo, I just want one of these things. I absolutely love it. I'm in love with the interior. You know, again, I can't wait till the day we do a real legitimate one of 300 HSV W1s in the manual. Uh, but today, Regardless of being a replication, this was an awesome day. Uh, yeah, I'm just smiles, guys. It's a beast. Now, guys, I am going to finish the video off here today. So, look, a huge, huge thanks to the boys at Full Throttle Empire. I'll leave a link for them down below. Again, they do awesome giveaways. Go check them out. Man, for them to hook me up with this thing, a GTSR with a you know replica W1 mock-up here, uh, you know, I can't thank them enough. And this was just so cool to check out. 
it's beautiful, the look of it, the drive of it, it goes bloody hard. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you hit that like button. Consider subscribing if you're new here. And as always, boys, we'll see you on that next video.